Hey yo, what's up guys? Um, so as you can see I was doing a bit of off-screen work. Mostly because I was actually filming a video before, but it suddenly caught cut off. It, it's just annoying. Um, I was talking about com comic stuff and also uh, cable TV and uh, stuff, stuff, stuff. So I have to remake the entire video. That's <sighs> that's fine. It's fine. Whatever. At least we could probably get through this whole thing. Probably. Maybe. By the end of the video, probably. Hopefully. Um. So. Let's do this. We can do this. Anyway. Uh. I guess I can't talk about whatever I was talking about in my last video. Otherwise it'd be awkward. Maybe. I don't know. I was talking about a few of my first comics. And also, um... Uh a Minecraft comic I used to have. Uh, I actually had a few um, old Minecraft comics. They're all unfinished. Unfinished products. And I've only managed to do at least a few pages. Um... Oh, my night vision is fading. Because it's morning. So. Um. Now my first comic. Uh, I think one of my first comics. I... I honestly can't get the details down. Um, my guess that my first comic was this one comic where it was like half human, half animal hybrids uh, that were like lab experiments or something that like escaped the lab and like went to make a life of their own. Almost like a half wolf, half, half girl or something. You know, just beast people, I guess. I'll just call them beast people way more suited. Oh, I think there was one that was even like a tiger. Oh man, this is bringing so much back nostalgic memories. Uh, I, I actually started writing uh, mm, silly little comics back when I was like in high school. Not when I was younger. When I was younger, I would just draw pages. Um, uh, I actually have uh, dyslexia, which... Uh, I've been double teamed with like my unmedicated ADHD and dyslexia throughout my entire life, so yeah, not fun. Not fun. But that's okay. You know? It's all okay. Um but, um, I drew comics as a bit of a coping mechanism to, uh, some depression that I had started to develop back when I was around 13. Dude, the topics I was talking about before were less depressing. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a ADHD and dyslexia that double team me, like in school and stuff and I even got bullied by the sm more smarter kids somewhat not harshly they just did not like me because I wasn't as intelligent as they were um, but uh, it was enough to do some psychological damage I'll tell you that um, 
And I feel like because, uh, uh, I feel like because I haven't been able to reach that much intelligence or um, stuff like that, that I have failed as a person. And I've had to tell myself, no, you have not. Damn, this is depressing to talk about. I wanted to talk about My Life as a Teenage Robot and Danny Phantom, okay? So let's talk about that instead. Um, actually, let's talk about how I got introduced to those shows. So, um, back when I was a little kid, we were doing like this uh, round trip or something. Where like we were going round places and uh, I remember we were hitting up places where my cousins lived, like um, in Oregon or something like that. I don't think they live in Oregon anymore, though. I think some of them do, but... I ain't gonna tell you! So, like, um, I remember we were hitting up cousins one by one, and, um, I hit up this one cousin. Uh, and, um, the thing is that we didn't really have cable TV. Uh at all we we were only allowed to watch dvds and and stuff like that and we would get dvds mostly from the library because libraries are so nostalgic you know what i mean aside from getting like the children's books that you would probably would remember or maybe you got like I remember I would go to the library and we'd get a bunch of mangas and DVDs and stuff and we'd watch the DVDs at home and we'd read the mangas in, in our spare time. That's actually how I got introduced to uh, Astro Boy was that I got a book from the library that was like Astro Boy. But you know what, I'm going off topic here. We were supposed to be talking about- anyway, so um, our cousins and stuff had cable TV. And this is actually how I got uh, introduced to the streaming service of Netflix as well. And how we actually got Netflix later on in life. You know. The good old days of Netflix. So, I remember, um, first we went to, like, one of my cousin's house that ha had, like, the cable TV. And they were on Nickelodeon. So... Um, we watched a bit of Nickelodeon, a few Nickelodeon shows, and My Life as a Teenage Robot was airing at the time. So, we watched an episode from that. And, um, if I remember correctly, the, um, episode that I saw was the one with, like, um, Smitus or whatever, like, his name. I think it's Smitus, yeah. Smitus was, like, uh, interrupted, uh, Jenny in the middle of a of a soccer game or whatever, and captured her and oh, put her in this giant uh, robot thingy. <laughs> put her in this giant um, robot body or whatever, mind control stuff. And um, Jenny's sister stepped in and stuff. Um, and uh rescued her or something like that that was a really fun episode um but that was the first episode i saw and i was so enthralled with the whole show so enthralled that i oh my gosh i'm trying to build i was so enthralled with the whole show that I literally had, um, a, um, oh, jeez, I am so sorry, that was an awful shudder. But anyway, I was so enthralled with the show that I literally, um, had a dream where, um, I basically essentially made my own OC, where it was basically a pink version of Jenny with like a ponytail because I really liked ponytails back then 
little did I know that was a bit more close to reality as I watched uh, more episodes later on. Ah, the good old days. But, uh, anyway, I remember I watched, I had that dream. <laughs> like, guys, I am so good at writing fanfiction. I dream of it, okay? <laughs> But, um, anyway, um, so yeah, that was fun, and then we went over to another cousin's house, and he actually had Netflix, and he had a show, a, a new show that he wanted to show, something that, uh, he found, and it was, you guessed it, it was Danny Phantom. He was like, this show is so cool, and stuff, and we sat down, and we watched it together. It was awesome. But, uh... <sighs> Goodness. I just wanted to craft in mine. Anyway. So this there's like a few flies that are bugging me. Uh, ah like keep crawling on my arm. Like leave me alone. I just wanna craft in mine. Or use a sword you decide. Anyway. So like Boy. Anyway. But that's how I got introduced to both those shows. And, um. Yeah. The library is where I got introduced into anime. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's right, I was talking about the library earlier, and how I got introduced to a lot of stuff, like the, like the mangas and the DVDs, and how I got introduced to Astro Boy. Oh yeah, that was, okay. So, um, again, we didn't have cable TV, so we weren't really uh, introduced to any, like, anime on, on the television. But, we were later in life, when YouTube first became a thing. Now, I can't remember how we were introduced, I just remember we were like, there was this legendary show that we never heard of before called Sailor Moon. No, we never actually watched the show, just heard about it. But saw, like, uh... At least a little bit of it online. And, um. Stuff like that. Oh, jeez. But, like, that was the start of ser searching for anime and finding it and stuff. And also, weeb culture! Yay! Um, one of the first animes we officially watched was this one little ditty called Nadia's Secret of Blue Water. Not really your typical children's anime because we just spotted it in the library and we're like, yeah, that's anime. Um. Not really, uh, anime for little kids, though, considering how there was blood and slight nudity. But anyway, I digress. Uh, first anime, technically, Nadia, Secret of Blue Water. It is actually a pretty good anime. Uh, 
story is very interesting. And it starts off like all child, like carefree and friendly, and then it's just like, yeah, there's also this cult that murders a person's parents. <laughs> And it was also this one weird anthro version of uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes, where essentially they're all dogs. You know? A, it was actually kind of interesting and really fun to watch. I mean... It's a weird interpretation of the classical Sherlock Holmes. Actually, when we first got into like this um, this anime, our dad was like, "Do you want to do you want to hear the the classical story of Sherlock Holmes? Like, I'll read it to you. The the classical, the 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 novel, the book, the stuff." And we were like, yeah. So, uh, that's also how we got into the classical Sherlock Holmes, too. Um, very nice. And I am here for it. Also, on Halloween, our dad decided to, to read, uh... Some Edgar Allan Poe to us, specifically the um, Heart Under the Floorboards one. Uh, we cried ourselves to sleep, <laughs> but we wanted this. We wanted it. We were like, ah, oh, yeah, Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> My dad isn't mean or malicious, he's just oblivious. <laughs> yeah. He's actually a really nice guy, um... Very cool. Cool guy. I guess we didn't finish it near the end of the video. Uh, that's fine. I can once again do a bit more off-screen work. Um, or we can just finish it later. Right. Ah! But anyway, this... This uh, entire castle is going to look beautiful by the end. And I've decided to make the uh, hallway uh, more than one level because uh, I want to make this really big, really tall. And it would just be a bit more convenient if the hallway matched up to that as well. Do you mind? I am... Ah, I'm just, it's like, this, oh my gosh. Anyway. So. This has been fun. I do actually like making Let's Plays on occasion, cause it is very good for my mental health, uh, and I do like making videos for you. So, 
I will see y'all, lovely people, later. Here's a few of my comics. Uh, uh, shouldn't show too many spoilers. I'm having a hard time with you. Uh, not so much with you. But anyway, uh, see you guys in the next video. I hope to see you then. Bye.